Hi there, this is the Arcanum level 26 presentation of the timeless landscape in photography. This challenge is all about uh, time. So time, as, uh, as it is, as we understand it, is a uh, it's the time we make, the time we we create, um, <clears throat> the time we measure. Here is picture. Of course, time is stopped for at least for a few seconds, uh, which translates in a very fuzzy sky and beautiful, translated here in this black and white image. Here is my own take uh, for the same team, the long exposure, also converted in black and white. I have here a similar result in the sky. In addition, uh, there is very silky water. That, that's one of the beautiful things I like about long exposure, that the water is not busy. It gets very smooth and calm and quiet. This picture is from an artist uh, called Narizio Di Mauro. <coughs> and I choose it because I want to display time itself. I mean, what a better way to show time that, uh, uh, than a, a watch? The mechanic part of the time, the, the part uh, that we create and somehow uh, divisions in, in a day, in hours, in minutes, in seconds. All in this nostalgic uh, setup of this photo. Here's my own picture, uh, always for the same question of time. And here, instead of showing a watch, I choose to uh, take three exposures in about um, quite a short time, in a short time frame. And it reminds me of the seconds of the watch, and you also see beautifully how time is space, time in space. And um, in this person going forward, moving forward, you can sequence slice the time up. This picture from Anna Wacker shows uh, an old lost building and uh, always when I see pictures like this it reminds me of the transcendence of time. Nothing is eternal, everything will go away eventually. Here it's beautifully represented with these lights coming through the, the doors and this wonderful texture and patina on the walls. Transcends here in the form of a flower, a flower that will very soon probably lose this uh, beautiful white bulb. And um, it takes really just a fraction to go from from uh, color and aliveness and life to uh, a gone flower. So this shows also the same the same idea of transcience. This photo, this picture by uh, Ben Robinson shows the evolution or the difference of time in with, with a very simple concept showing a hand of a 
older person with the hand of a baby. <clears throat> so this shows different ages in uh, in one same picture. And we see this beautiful texture in this uh, old hand and this very smooth texture in the baby's hand. Here we have the same uh, concept in a photo of mine taken in Cameroon, Africa. And um, actually it's the, the mother, the grandmother of my wife uh, with a young woman holding a baby. So you have three ages in the same picture. Uh, very small, very old and uh, you know like the medium kind of uh, age. We all believe you are in <laughs> but uh, uh, old age will catch eventually up. So once in a while we have this feeling of nostalgia or melancholy or um, turning to the past, to memories. And this picture of Martin Mokan expresses it, uh, in my opinion, very well. We have uh, an old camera. You know, with all this manual stuff and uh, film, and uh, it's an old age gone. Uh, you see, sometimes people say, "Oh, everything was better," and um, now everything is uh, is different. Technically, perhaps perfect, but uh, before it was better. So here's my take about this nostal nostalgic, melancholic feeling uh, in the shot uh, in the mountains, where I have several elements which goes back to the past. Well, first this cross is uh, surely an old, quite an old stuff. And secondly, the concept of, I mean, to, to put the uh, banks there, to sit down, to watch the, the landscape, it's not a very modern concept, I would say. Uh, today it's uh, smartphones and, um, uh, and messages all around, communication. So you never would uh, make the sitting down meditation to a very important piece. So for me it's going back in time where those things have been more important. But usually go to the past, well, what we see a lot in Instagram and other photo filters, uh, there is usually turning back to the past. Although there is big discussion ongoing uh, digital versus uh, film. For example, here in Zurich we have uh, an old shop that had to close, that had all this old film material and there was a huge interest in this um, closing of the shop because people felt that uh, this was uh, significant or was a symbol of a, a time closing, a time passing. Uh, so this closing of the shop is something of inevitable because they just change. We cannot stop it, but we can put them into the past, into the museums. Uh, we can try to take hold of the time in this, in this uh, museum approach. So a photo is somehow the same approach. We want to stop the time, we want to close the time, uh, we want to catch it, we don't want to, to let it go on, uh, because change is not always the way we want. 
the change often goes the way, in a way we don't want. Uh, so we hang on, we tend to hang on to the past. We have reached the end of this presentation. Thank you for watching. It has been produced for the cohort of Glenn Guy in the Arcanum. Thanks and see you later.